Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to look at how to change the default format for the number format buttons in Excel. Now we can do this by editing the styles and we have this cell styles gallery on the home tab of Excel and if I expand it you're able to apply these styles and modify them to your liking. For example, the input style, where we can use that for input cells, and then any modifications to that style would be carried through to all uses of that style in a workbook. But what we're interested in in this video are the number format styles, because these styles correlate to the buttons on the home tab. Now in this video, the one I want to focus on is going to be the comma style. You can see there's two different comma styles, two different currencies and 1%. The first comma and currency styles relate to the buttons on the home tab. The other options have no decimal places. So looking at the sample data I have on this workbook, if I was to select all of these values, and use the comma style button on the home tab, it applies that default style. And that assumes the use of two decimals. And the way it displays the negative values is with that negative sign, that hyphen, which is quite separated from the value itself. The values in a black font, exactly the same as the positive values. So what I'd like to do is modify that style to have no decimals and to show negative values in brackets and in a red font. So to do that, let me just undo the style I applied and we'll go over to the styles gallery and expand it. I'll right click on the comma number format style and modify. Now, if you're new to styles, you can change many aspects of its format which includes whether it is a locked cell and whether it has a border style and a font and so on. All I'm interested in here is the number formatting. You can see by default that's the only element of this style that's applied by the checked box. So I'll click on format and I'm actually going to come into the custom area at the bottom and I'm going to paste in a format that I've already got pre-prepared. And this style does, as mentioned, it will display the value in the thousands, no decimals, negative value, which are the characters after the semicolon there, in a red font and within brackets. On the end of the positive style, you can see an underscore followed by a bracket. What that ensures is that the positive and negative values will align in the cell. So even if a negative has a bracket on the end, the positive values there'll be a space character which is equal to the width of a closing bracket, therefore making them align perfectly. Now I'll click OK to confirm that single change that I've made really, and I'll click OK again to then apply that style. So that has now set that style for this entire workbook for that comma style button on the home tab. So if I go and select these values again and then click that comma button, this time it applies the style that I have set and that button now does that by default whenever I need it within this workbook. So that's brilliant. It's going to save me having to use the button to remove decimals each time or apply a custom format with the red font for negatives. And if I was to use this workbook next week, next month, next year, it's there ready for me all the time. And not just me, but for my colleagues who may be using this workbook too. And that same technique can be used on the currency button and for the percent button as well. Now let's take this a step further and see how we can apply this to a template file. Because this is a workbook setting, so it will apply itself anywhere in this workbook. But if I create a new workbook by clicking File, New, and just insert this blank workbook. And if I just type some values in here for the sake of demonstration, let's have a negative value too. 
and I select these values and go for that comma button, then it's using the standard style. But let's imagine that I want to create my own template and that button's assigned to it. So whenever I create new workbooks of a specific type for maybe a specific reason, then I can have that button ready to go. Now, before we save the template, we could set up this workbook as needed. If I needed certain text or values on this file as part of the template, but let's just use it as this blank workbook. So I'll just quickly go and modify that style again. Okay, so that's been done and then we save it as a template. So I could pop to file, save as, maybe click on browse to bring the traditional save as experience. And I'm gonna change the Excel workbook to a template. And that will direct me to the custom office templates file. If you want to learn more about templates, then that's for exploring outside of this video. For now, I just want to name this template. So maybe I'll call it report for the sake of a name for now. Save that template and I'll close down this file. So maybe it's a new day and I need to create a new file where I would like the use of that comma style. So I'm going to use my template. I would click file, new, and then I'll go to the personal category. And there is my report template. I can select my report template. And now I've got a brand new workbook. If I type some values in here, let's have another one. And I'll select those values and hit my comma number format. And there is the style predefined so I no longer have to worry about editing these format styles every time I use that number format. So how awesome is this? Did you know that you can edit the default of those number format buttons? I feel like the cell styles is this kind of secret feature of Excel. If you did find this video useful, please hit that thumbs up and why not subscribe so that you will be notified about the latest videos and tutorials at this channel. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you again soon.